Welcome to this module, guys. And in this module, we're going to explore the concept of proxemics, which is developed by anthropologist Edward T. Hall. As we discussed earlier in the course, proxemics actually focuses on the use of space and distance when it comes to nonverbal communication. And it looks into how it influences our interactions with those around us. And by actually better understanding the principles of proxemics, through uh, Hall's uh, proxemics model, uh, we can actually create an environment that's conducive to effective communication, trust building, and collaboration. And we can also learn that in different types of situations, how we can use the nonverbal communication aspect of space to actually optimize and maximize our communication for success. So let's go into the four zones of personal space that Hall identified. So. Hall has identified four distinct zones of personal space that people maintain in their interactions with others. We have the intimate zone, the personal zone, the social zone, and the public zone. Now, the intimate zone is around zero to 50 centimeters from you. And this zone is only reserved for close relationships, such as family members, romantic partners, or in some cases, close friends. So, Entering someone's intimate zone without permission can cause discomfort. So what does that tell us? This means that when we're talking to someone we've met for the first time, or we're talking to a team member or a professional who we don't have an intimate relationship with, this is the zone that we don't want to get into. Being zero to 50 centimeters close to someone can often feel intrusive, like you're going into their personal space. And we never want to get this close to someone unless we have the right relationship. So this is a zone we probably want to stay away from. Next, we move on to the personal zone, which is around uh, 0.5 to 1 meters away from you. And now this zone is for interactions with friends, acquaintances, and professional colleagues. It allows for casual conversations and personal connections without invading someone's intimate space. So. When you're having a conversation with someone, whether it's a casual conversation, whether it's like a lunch conversation, or you're just having a casual conversation uh, around work, uh, whether it's with like a work colleague or an acquaintance or a friend, this is the zone that you want to be in. You want to be around 0.5 to 1 meters away from them because this is probably the optimal zone uh, where someone will feel like you're not invading their personal space, which is a good thing. Next, guys, we have our social zone, and our social zone is around one to four meters away from you. Now, this zone is used for more formal interactions, such as business meetings, presentations, or group discussions. It allows for clear communication while maintaining a sense of professionalism. So guys, if you're doing a team presentation, or you want to facilitate a bit of a group discussion, or you're having a business meeting with someone you haven't met for the first time, this is probably uh, the distance that you want to keep from them, whether it's through a cleverly arranged meeting room or sitting across the table or uh, keeping a little bit of distance so you can project to, to everybody and not just feel like you're talking to just one person. This is the zone that you want to stay in, this distance that is one to four meters uh, away from you. And finally, guys, we have the public zone, which is four meters or more. And now this zone is for public speaking, lectures, or performances, because it actually creates a sense of detachment, which is useful when addressing large audiences. Because if you get any closer, it's a little bit uncomfortable for the audience seeing someone speak from such a close distance for so long. It often, sometimes what will happen is like the people at the back might not even see you, or they might just think that you're talking to a few people. Uh, but actually, if you want to address a large group, whether it's for public speaking, lecture, performances, you want to be in this public zone or of four meters or more. So as, as we mentioned, that understanding the approximate proxemic zones for different types of interactions can really help you communicate more effectively with your team members, your clients, your stakeholders, and also in different communication